Mr. Mr. Lee. Jim, Jim, if you're nasty. Jim Lee. Who's Jim Lee? For Jim Lee. Jim Lee signature. That whole line for Jim Lee. Can't believe it. We're in line right now. We're going to be waiting for the man himself. We're going to take a couple of pictures. We're going to get some autographs. Luke ended up getting three different packages. That means we're going to get nine autographs. We're going to get three pictures with the C-List Village. It's going to be insane. Come and hang out. I have a jam piece and two X-Men books. One signed by Chris Claremont. Got my box. And that's just the top. Kelly Sue DeConnick, self-portrait. Right On the bottom. Yep, yep. Uh, I have some comics to get signed. <laughs> All right. I got some prints, not original, <laughs> of my favorite art from Jim Lee. <laughs> I got X-Men, uh, Batman. Oh. And then Punisher War Journal. It's kind of funny. It's a watercolor he did for one of the earliest Wonder Cons. Uh, and then my second favorite is the iconic Uncanny. This is like peak Jim Lee in my opinion. So we got some uh, Batman Catwoman. Uh, Bat Batman Catwoman. Um, the iconic Wonder Woman Superman. Uh, DC 1000. Of course X-Men. X-Men first Omega Red. Uh, with uh, Red and I have both those first movie, right? That's yeah. crazy. Alpha Fight for this is awesome. Oh, yeah. first, this first is very first, uh, first Jim Lee cover. Eighties, I was a fan, huge fan. Started out with Punisher War Journal, then he made it over to X Men, and I mean, it changed the world. Oh, for as long as I can remember, back in the mid nineties. You know, I'm not too old, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Born in the nineties, so grew up on you know that nineties X Men. Yeah. <laughs> It's exciting, it's meeting a legend today. This is the first time for me meeting a legend in, in the comic book world. I mean, Jim Lee is iconic, right? From, you know, Batman, X-Men, you know, to his own creators. It's just, he's been like an icon, a huge titan in the industry. It feels amazing, you know, it feels amazing meeting him today. time seeing me at a panel? Oh, that's a lot. Okay. All right. Who has seen me? All right. That was, all right. There's a lot of shy people too. So, uh, all right. So, yeah, I wish I had the Elmo. Uh, I could live stream it off my phone and then you can watch it. <laughs> I could take pictures on my phone and pass it around. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ways. I can draw a little and then do this. Can you see? Yeah. It's done. All right. Okay. All right. Let me, let me get set up. Let me kill one more time. Anyone have a question? What am I most known for? For your I can say to her all day, but I kind of be like, yes, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. So if you didn't hear, uh, he was saying that uh, he's here with his girlfriend and, and you're trying to turn to the dark side, yes. right? Get her to read comics. And uh, you talk me up a lot, and, and just, she just said, I don't care, right? She, her eyes glaze over, and you're saying, what, what do I think is the most meaningful work I've done that will make a difference? Ooh, I would say Batman number 1000. X-Men 1 and Batman Hush. It probably have to be X-Men. How do you feel? How do you feel after uh, meeting Jim Lee? 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Would recommend? Oh yeah, worth a hundred bucks. So com comic book grade? 9.8, baby. 9, 9 .8? I would thought it would have been a Jim Mint 10 red. <laughs> we just met Jim Lee. How do you feel after this? I feel hungry. <laughs>